the son, John, Sarah's brother, died at a young age, in his 20s. And this would have devastated Sam. But he knew his role was to be there for his family as a comforter. But we must stop again because Sam would want us to change the focus. For him, the real comforter was the Holy Spirit. After Jesus' resurrection, he promised that he would, he would send his spirit. And after Jesus returned to his father, the spirit came. The Holy Spirit who gives us the words to say even when we run out of words. The Holy Spirit who gives us comfort even in the darkest of times. That Holy Spirit who draws our hearts and minds beyond ourselves to look at God and the needs of our neighbours. We've come together today to remember and give thanks for the life of Sam. And there's so much about Sam that we can be thankful for. However, he wouldn't want the focus to be on him. He would want us to look at God, God the Father, that creator of the beautiful world. God the Son, that carpenter who gives us such extraordinary hope. God the Spirit who is our comforter, our counsellor and our strength. Sam would want us to look to his God whom he loved. And he would want us to know that what he himself was most thankful for was the fact that God loved him too and God continues to love him. Amen. Let us take a time of prayer. First of all, in our prayers, we give thanks to God for Sam's life. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for Sam's life, for his devotion to you, his love for his family, and for the love he shared in your world. Thank you for his artistry and creativity, the skill of his hands and his humour. Thank you for the gift that Sam was to this world and for the way he didn't look for a share in any glory, but wanted all eyes to be on you. Amen. We continue to pray for those who mourn today. Father, give faith and comfort to all who are bereaved, especially to Agnes, to Sarah, to Betty and Kathleen, and Iris and Bertie, and Lucinda, and those extended members of family. Strengthen them to meet the days to come with steadfastness and patience, not knowing as those without hope, or not sorrowing as those without hope, but in thankful remembrance of your mercy in the past and waiting for a joyful reunion in heaven in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We proclaim the Christian hope. Heavenly Father, in your Son Jesus Christ, you have given us a true faith and a sure hope. Strengthen this faith and hope in us all our days that we may live as those who believe in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now we join all our prayers together and share the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Our closing hymn is Will Your Anchor Hold? Sam, a shipbuilder by trade, knew 
that the journey was not always easy and had to be prepared for. But his faith held. Therefore, we can sing this with thanks. Creator and Redeemer. By your power, Christ conquered death and entered into glory. Confident of his victory and claiming his promises, we now leave your servant Sam in your gracious keeping. In the name of Jesus, our Lord, who died and is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son 
and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen.